Hello. Happy Thursday, boys and girls. We're making it to the end of our week, and I think it's been a pretty good one. All right, let's stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Let's go ahead and sit back down and settle in and get ready for our video lesson. How are you doing today, guys? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty well. Definitely still have a baby on the horizon. So we're getting excited to welcome our new substitute guest teacher here. Her name is Miss Bethany. She's popping in some of our video chats. Um, and she's very nice. I hope you were able to watch her video where she introduced herself. So go ahead and go check that out if you haven't, okay? All right. So let's go over our rules for our video time. And these are our, also our classroom rules. So it's very important that we get to know them very well, okay? So the five rules that you we need to follow. Rule number one, our mouth is quiet. Rule number two, our eyes are looking. Rule number three, my hands and feet are to myself. My body is still. Rule number four, our ears are listening. And rule number five, if you have a question or you need help, what do we do? We raise our hand, right? We raise our hand. Miss Amy will come and help you if we're at school. Or our hair come and help you at school. Or if you're at home, mom and dad might come. Or sister might come. Um, if you just raise your hand, then everybody knows. Okay? All right. Thursday. Yahoo! Thursday. So if today is Thursday, boys and girls, what does that mean yesterday was? Today is Thursday, so that means yesterday was Wednesday. Wednesday. So we have Wednesday and then comes Thursday. And what does that mean tomorrow is going to be? Let's think about that for a minute. So today is Thursday. That means tomorrow is Friday. Yes. And we say F -f Friday. We like Fridays, don't we? It's the end of our week. All right. Today is the eighth day of school. And that is another group of 10 which we're going to talk about on the next slide so today's date we are in the month of January so January is our month our day do you remember it is the 14th oh that's not a very good four is it miss Amy there we go 14 so when we have our date, remember there is our month, with it, which is January. The second part is our uh, day, and that's the 14th. And the third part is our year, which is 2021. So let's all say the date together. Ready? 21. Okay, one more time, boys and girls. January 14th, 2021. Good job. All right. We are going to do our days of the week now <clears throat> when we get over there to our next. Oh, whoops. We're going to do today's number. That's what Miss. So today is the 78th day. And look at that, we have almost completed another row of 10. We only have two days net left. 
to complete another row of 10. So we're going to bring up our little block over here for our 1, and that means we have 8 1s. We're going to count our blocks of 10, our groups of 10 over here, okay? When we count our groups of 10, remember we use these numbers on the end of our number line, and I have all the ones that we are going to do circled. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay, let's count our groups here. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. 78 days we've been in school. <clears throat> That's today's number, 78. Hooray. Very proud of you guys. You've been working very hard this, this year so far. Okay, now we're going to do our days of the week. Are you ready? Let's sing our song. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, good job. And how many days of the week are there? Hmm? Let's count them just to be sure. Hope we're going to need a different color of, of marker because that marker is not going to show up. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven days in a week. Great job, boys and girls. And then let's go talk about our months. Look at all of our months over here. Shall we sing our song so we can remember? Okay, can you sing it with me? I think you know it by now. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October. November, December, these are the 12 months of the year. How many months there are? These are the 12 months of the year. So if we counted all these, there would be 12, right? And what month are we in right now? We are in the month of January. That is the month we are in. Let's talk about our calendar. So here's our calendar, our month listed, so we know that we're on the right month, and we always have our days, so we know what day of week our date falls on. And then it's very important to make sure we are in the correct year when we're looking at our calendar. So today is Thursday, the 14th of January. And look at that, boys and girls. We have been in school for in school for this year, 14 days, because January is the beginning of a new year, remember? Let's count. Let's count to 14. Let's count all the days that we've been in school in January. Okay, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, we are in 14 days of school. That's super exciting. I'm super excited. January, look at we've almost completed our second full week in January. Tomorrow we'll have completed it. Okay, let's talk about the weather. I wonder what the weather. Did you guys feel all of that wind yesterday? It was blowing us around, wasn't it? Wow. Okay, so here's our weather. Whoops. Let's get that zoomed in just a little bit, huh? All right. So we have Thursday the 14th is the day that we're in. So we know that this is the weather for the correct day. And we have a big old sunshine. Oh, goodness. That's nice. The big old sunshine. 
and we have a high of 36 degrees. So it says abundant sunshine, a high of 36 degrees. We are gonna have some wind, but not as much as yesterday. It's only gonna be 10 to 20 miles per hour. Yesterday, it was very strong. It was a much stronger than that, okay? And tonight, we are gonna have a partly cloudy skies and a low of 21 degrees Fahrenheit. A little bit of wind, not much, okay? So, big sunshine and 36 degrees, that's our high. Okay, there's our sunshine. And we're gonna have to do our temperature this way because it, I could not figure out how to get our thermometer to work. So, this is how we're gonna do it. And this guy, we're gonna do this one because 36 degrees is pretty cold, isn't it, boys and girls? It's not warm, so it is cold outside today, okay? Cold outside today. All right, here's our activity for the day. We're gonna say the number on our penguin's belly, and then he wants to eat all these fish. We need to add all these fish to his belly. So we're gonna start on here, and then we're gonna add them and see how many fish he's gonna eat all together, okay? So ready, we have eight here. So we're gonna go eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This penguin is going to eat, okay? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's a lot of fish in that little belly of it, isn't it? Look at this guy down here. He's already eaten 11 fish and he wants to eat these guys. Let's count how many he's gonna have in his belly. 11, 12, 14. He's gonna have 14 fish in his belly. That penguin must be really hungry. He must not have eaten for a couple of days, huh? He is putting those fish away. That's a lot of fish in a little penguin's belly. All right, let's move on. All right, so here's our other penguin. He has 10 fish in his belly already. That's a lot of fish too. So he has 10, and then we go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15 fish in his belly. Oh, and this little guy, he has six fish in his belly. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oops. Let's draw that eleven straight and correct. Wow, Miss Amy is really struggling with this today. There we go. Eleven. Eleven in his belly. All right. That fish is, that penguin is good and full. This penguin has 12 fish in it. Hmm. And these are a lot of fish he wants to put in. Let's see how many he's going to do, okay? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 fish. That's, I think that might be the most fish we've had for a penguin in his belly, huh? He must be the biggest penguin of all so he can fit all these fish in his belly. Okay, this penguin has 13 in his belly. So 13, 14, 15, 16. These two must be the biggest penguins on the colony. All right. Oh. That didn't work very well. Let's do this. Ugh. Remember, we always want our work to be our best. And that was not Miss Amy's best work. So she needed to make sure she redid it so it was her best work, right? Right. All right, boys and girls. This pin here, he has seven fish in his body, in his belly. And he's going to fit all these fish in there. So let's see how many he's going to fit. So seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. 12 fish in his belly. Mm -mm. Do you like fish? I like fish. Okay, this penguin has nine fish in his belly. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. That is the end of our activity, boys and girls. This one is also included in the resources that I gave you at the end of last week. So if you would like to go over this with your mom and dad, just ask them to do the, the say the number and count on with penguins and fish. And you guys can work on doing this at home with the activities, okay? Thanks for watching the video and doing the activity with me. And I hopefully will see you again tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody.